Yeah. He's dead right now. Because my family hate me too. For what reason? I don't even. I don't fucking know. Grateful? Don't dwell on it. Think about the shit that you're grateful for. You know what I'm saying? Think of. Go. Go. I don't know. Whatever makes you happy, go do that right now. Go meditate or whatever. No, you good. It's just my family don't fuck with me. And I didn't do shit to their ass. My dad's side of the family really ain't shit, to be honest. They they wanted to complain at... No, not all of my family, but most of them, I don't fuck with. They steady had a problem with this, this, that, and the third. But y'all ain't put no money on my daddy's funeral. It was me, my brothers, and the ex-wife. Well, she ain't even the ex-wife. I mean, she... What up? She whatever. Like, she's just the wife legally. Or whatever. No. Tell your boyfriend, I say I appreciate both of y'all. I don't know. I don't give a fuck what this is about. Because I ain't got no. Boy, I ain't got no goddamn talker. I don't have no goddamn tongue, Ricky. That's nasty. Am I still gonna be dancing for Jagger? Do cha cha in this bitch. Fuck. Right, like, but doesn't your dad. What, my man? No. My dad, no. My uncle major only called me when he wants something, needs something, or want a question answered, or when the wife is acting crazy. My motherfucking other auntie, she cussed me out, and I was just at her motherfucking, I was just at her house, kissing on her, hugging on her and everything, and all of a sudden, we at the fucking hospital. Y'all, okay, let's start from the beginning, because I can literally write a motherfucking movie about my dad's fucking funeral. Okay. So, first and foremost, me and my dad, we had an on and off relationship just because of the fact that Papa was a rolling stone. It's a it's a bowl. It's a little bowl. So, I smoked my ducks out of here, y'all. Um, yeah, it's a one-hitter. Um, so, when he passed and we was making all the arrangements for his funeral and shit, it was me, my oldest brother, and my second baby brother. Okay. My second oldest, my my second youngest baby brother, and the wife. We put the money on for my father's funeral. They want to have all these problems, all these issues, da 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 da. Like, but y'all ain't putting shit on shit. You know. So, motherfucker, you burn your nails, girl. Don't. Oh, thank you, love. But he can bowl as much as he motherfucking wants to. Now he ain't got his, he ain't got dialysis. That's nothing. That's how I look at when people pass away. They don't have these problems no more that you had on earth. Your motherfucking body is a vessel, baby. It's just a vessel that your your soul is lo- is is using at this moment. Okay. So anyway, yeah. Next year, I'm growing my uh, I'm growing my uh, uh, I'm growing my locks back. So, and to this day, my father still does not have a headstone. Because of drama. My auntie wore p- p- bubblegum fucking pink. I'm talking about worse than this. Way worse than this. I'm talking about pink to my father's funeral. Then you got my cousin. She in the motherfucking damn near the fucking club outfit. Like, what I said, what the fuck? I said, uh-uh. She said, I know. So if you fucking knew... Why the fuck are you wearing this shit? I say, you know what? I'm the, I'm not going to whoop ass today at my daddy's funeral. It's not going to, boy. Then you got the little comments. Motherfuckers talking shit. Talking shit. I'm like, leave it alone again. So we get to the burial site. No, let's rewind. First of all, I can't do shit because the fucking wife has authority over everything. And she's being a bitter bitch because of the fact that my dad left her. So she's being a bitch and 
I can't, we, we can't do shit. That's what my uncle, my uncle called me for or whatever. Like, we can't do this and we can't do that. I'm like, what the fuck y'all want me to do? So I called her. It was some whole other bullshit. She motherfucking, this was three years ago. She's making motherfucking excuses and all type of shit. I left it alone. Literally left it alone. We get to the bear. Oh, okay. We still at the funeral. Boy, motherfuckers bringing up all types of shit. The motherfuckers talking about my daddy being this, my daddy motherfucking, cause my daddy was a gambler, bro. Like he had a gambling problem, like a motherfucker. So money was fucked up for us for a while for my dad. It definitely was. He got his life back together. It was start going to church, all of that shit. But it was just a little too late. He be passed. He's going through dialysis and everything. Um. So we can fast forward to the burial site. The same auntie that was in the bubblegum paint, she said, I got something to say. Because before my brother died, this was the love of his life. Talking about the girlfriend. Boy, motherfucking wife stood up. Me and my baby sister's like, ah, sit down. We got it. Don't even worry about it. We got it. My auntie going on. This was the love of his life. And blah, 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 blah. And whoop de whoop de whoop de whoop Like, oh, man, we can't even fucking, we can't even put my daddy in the ground. Y'all acting like this was y'all favorite brother. This was y'all favorite brother. But where was y'all at? When you sick. This y'all favorite brother, but can't nobody get fifty dollars, twenty dollars, take up a fucking collection for my motherfucking brother. Don't get me wrong, I understand the wife was definitely being a bitch, but this is y'all brother. So, with that being said, I don't fuck with that side of my family. I fuck with my brothers and sisters every now and then. You know what I'm saying? I see my brothers at the ball and alley and shit, but other than that. No. That's crazy. I deserve to be. What <laughs> fucker said? That's to see. That's another thing. When I went and talked to Danny about me switching rooms because what's the name said i can have the room she got rude with me so no it wasn't about the room and i kept saying that it was not about the room it was her being rude about the room that's what got me is that then that's why i've been posting no it's not the situation it's the principle of the matter i don't give a fuck about not having that book room this this that and the third i don't care but the fact is that how the bitch answered me when i went and tried to talk to her about giving me and my wife the fucking room especially since me and my wife had the room in the first place and i even motherfucker was pissed off because i was like ricardo why would you say something i'm like that's my that me and egypt already had that motherfucking room and motherfuckers already told me I can have the room. So, like I said, when I went and talked to, to when I went to try to talk to Danny about the motherfucking room, Danny was rude. So yeah, that next day I wasn't feeling none of them bitches. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. What you mean, talk to Johnson? You think I didn't? Egypt. So, when I motherfucking went to go talk, like I said, when I went to go talk to daddy, when Ricardo said that I deserve the master suite back, because it was mine in the first, it was me and my wife's in the first fucking place, and I guess Ricardo didn't know, she got rude, talking about, well, such shit, such so, so, I can stay there, so, you know what, bet, bet. Bet. And I went the fuck out. I don't 
don't give a fuck. Doesn't look like I give a fuck. Girl, t- she not all of that. You want to know what she is? She's fucking everything. She's not all of that. That girl is everything to her thighs, to her cute ass fucking little pig toe, little fucking toes, to the smell, to that bald motherfucking head. And I, boy, I can't wait to palm. I ain't seen my baby. I can't wait to palm her motherfucking head this weekend. Fuck is you talking about? Boy. Right, fuck being nice. Thank you. Thank you. But my thing is, I was trying to be nice. I said, okay, it's cool. I'm going to let it go. The first time, I'm going to let it go. She got the room, cool. I'm going to let it go. But when it came time for them to acknowledge that, okay, it's, 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 it's back to my motherfucking room, she got rude. So when we was alone, yeah, I went the fuck out, bitch. I felt like you demoted me, bitch. Because they acknowledged me doing what I was doing. And this, this, that, and the third. So, fuck that shit. See, y'all ain't never seen me mean. That's why. Y'all ain't never seen me when I'm going to fuck off on somebody else. Y'all only seen me on live talking shit and da 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 Y'all never seen that energy in person with somebody else. So, just make sure y'all think twice before y'all approach me. Because I'm not with the shits, my mouth, my mind, nor my motherfucking hands. Fuck. Nobody wasn't trying to act like shit. This is me. Can you send some? Oh, yeah. We waiting to do the reunion now. It definitely takes a lot for me to get there. Like I said, it was over. No, this is me. Believe it. Believe it. I keep trying to tell y'all, I have nothing to fuck with. Because y'all saw that nice ass motherfucker on season fucking two. The reason why I was being nice is so I wouldn't go to fucking jail because I was on probation. That's why. But now I'm off probation. This is me. This is who I is. And if you don't like it, bitch, run up. Fuck. Bitch, I'm Griselda Blanco's niece. Fuck. And if you don't know who Griselda Blanco is, you better go motherfucker, bitch. It ain't no drug on this motherfucker earth. I ain't sold. Fuck. I done had to get it how I live, okay? That was my past. Don't get me wrong. Yes. But. Tuh. Tuh. So if I want to throw two bears. I'm the only two bears. Right. Indiana. Thank you. Indiana ain't no joke. Hey, Spear, what's up, sis? Yeah, Indiana probation ain't no fucking joke, boy. They look, they looking for the little, littlest motherfucking thing. You can't even smell like weed walking in that bitch. Fuck. Birch is definitely all the way. I'm glad you said that, sir. That motherfuckers is this shit being printed up. The rough drafts, the, uh, yeah, coming soon. Don't let them bring it out. Girl, I love it when, because, okay, y'all, look, I got three and a half people living in my head, okay? I don't know what you call it, tripolar in the fucking half. It's Ariel, Natural, Christine, and that little person that we just don't name. Okay. All right. We we don't name that little person. They brought Christine out. All right. Christine 
No, this not a weed pen. It's a little one hitter. Christine, I'm named after my great grandmother. All right, she's right here, tatted on my motherfucking back, right here, right hand, right always. Feel me? And my great grandmother ain't take no shit. That's why I'm country as hell. Okay, my great grandmother taught me how to read. She was uh, she had glaucoma and she started to go blind, and she wanted me to read a mail to her because she couldn't read it no more. So that's why I'm the only grandchild with the country ass accent. Then on top of that, my great bro, my great grandmother motherfucking tell you, boy, she knock your motherfucking dick in the dirt so goddamn fast. Quick. What's up, Fresh? Quick. And that was Chris thing. Now the little half person, we keep that little bitch locked up in the motherfucking cage. So everybody that's saying, oh, I'm bipolar, bitch, no, I'm tripolar and a half. And I got control of all three of them. I got control of all three and a half people living in my head. So, it depends on you which one you get. Can we not talk about the fucking boots? Can we not? <laughs> Bro, the video that, okay. And that's another thing. If y'all go look. At the video that um that Drea and Danny posted, you see we having a good time and all that shit. Conversation starting to get on my nerve. They they was irritating me. So y'all see I was definitely, definitely being cool. What you mean you're not finna play with me today? Was I scared that she had a blade? Child, I done had a gun face towards me. You think I give a, a blade? Come on now. But the boot, bro. But the boot, the, the video that, that Drea posted of them boots. Y'all see she got makeup. Them bitches is dirty. Them boots is just dry and over the fuck with. You feel me? Bro, them boots was over with. Did it fall, bro? Bro. Bro. That goddamn when I fell, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm good. I don't feel shit. I'm straight. Boy, three days later, you talking about my shit was sore as fuck. Sore as hell. I'm from Gary, Indiana, baby. Who do yummy hair? She do her hair. And y'all know what's crazy? I took her hair down for her. Because she had one of them stupid ass wigs on the fuck again. I'm like, I told her, I'm like, why you just don't wear curly? Go take, go in the bathroom or whatever and go put some water on it. I'm helping her take down her hair. I'm like, I'm telling her maybe you should leave the braids up half motherfucking way. I was being nice to all three of their ass. Especially Yummy. Me and Yummy even, we plan to start a fake fight when we got at the crib as a joke. I was like, we should, I was like, we should, we should go to the crib arguing and shit. Acting like we, just, we was all joking on the trip. We was good. And if y'all don't believe me, I'll go to, I'll pay for a goddamn lie detector test. I will definitely, oh, Mr. Freeze. Buzz of basketball, I already said something late. We said it again this weekend. Buzz of basketball. Oh, I get the palm on my baby basketball ass booty. Y'all, is your booty so fucking soft, Joe? Like her thighs, she smell good. Her motherfucking hands, they soft, but they, you know, you just tell my baby been through some shit. She had to use her hands, get it how she live. Boy. That woman. And the way she be smiling at me when I say certain shit to her. 